Alright, so let's take a look at Switch today. Okay. So let's review a little bit what we have learned on if else. And then we're going to modify the if else to use switch case. Alright, so We can talk about switch case and let's look at syntax at the same time. That records it. Switch and this is where you can put the Boolean expressions and then open the curry braces and close the curry braces. Alright, so we can say case. Case is depends on the switch that you want to put this in. Like for example, I said I have an x here, and we said case x equals to one. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You may say system dot out dot print and say x is one. Now when you do switch case you always need to break. If you don't break it's going to evaluate the next case. What is a switch case? Switch case is just like an if else statement. So if you're comparing, that's why I start to put if else first. So case one, that means true, you do this. Case else is false, you do this, right? So it's like if, else, if, else. So let's say, for example, <clears throat> I'm going to create a new class. Let's call grade. OK. So this is a good example, great. I want to write a program to evaluate the student grades and give A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, F, A, B, C, D, F, okay? So if student score, I'm going to prompt the user to enter score, let's use scanner, right? Keyboard equals to new scanner and get the input from the users form using system.in or I need to import scanner now I'm going to prompt the users to Enter. Okay. Enter scores, right? Now, I want to make sure that we understand this logic, okay? So I'm going to write a quick, a quick pseudocode, okay? So pseudocodes is just the way to simplify the steps, right? Step one, right? Read score, right? Which this is being done in Java, right? Step two, evaluate, right? Score, right? You can do if score, 
Now we say grading is going to be greater than 90 is A, right? So the question, let me write a question here a bit. So we know that 90, if the score greater than and equals to 90, student get A, right? If the score is between 80, which is greater than equals to 90, right? And less than 89, right? Less than 89. Then student will get B. If the score is between 79 and less than, I mean it has to be greater than or equal to 70 and less than 79. Right, so this program is first going to do the grading right? A, B, C, right? So if the score is greater than 60 and less than 69, so this will be D. If it's less than 60, that's going to be an F. So we try to write program to do that, right? So we said we go like pseudo code here say read the score in right and evaluate the score if score pretty much use this technique right greater than or equal to 90 then we go say we got an A right which if score greater than 90 then we just print A right and this will be else if right else if score is between this right then we're going to print B right now we have to look at score right greater than and now let's think about this logic a little bit before we move If we said if score greater than equals to 90, we get A. So the program is going to evaluate. How about 89? It's going to be less than 90. It's going to else if, right? Now, 89 is going to be greater than equals to 90. Do we need to have the second part then we don't really need it because if it's greater than 90 it's going to be here that's why we don't need to do less than 89 because if it's greater than 89 it's going to be here we don't need the second part because this already taken care, right? So we can get rid of that part. We said print B. We can do else if again, if score, same thing, right? Greater than equal to 70. We don't need the second part because this already taken care of. Greater than equals to 70, that means it's going to be less than 79. Because if it's greater than 79, it's going to do this part. Right. So we don't need this. We're going to print C. Right. So this is the same. So that's why it's very important to pretty much just write a pseudocode first to understand your logic so if it's greater than or equal to 60 <coughs> then we print D now last one is pretty much you can do else which is else that means it's going to be less than 60 okay if you want to do else if that's fine because we may want to take care of like we don't want the negative scores, right? So less than 60 
we will print f then the else case here take care of if the user happen to enter like negative scores that means we have to take care of this too so this has to be because if we say less than 60 negative still less than 60 you can say f so we have to take care of say greater than equal zero right that's going to be f and else that mean any negative scores is going to say invalid right print score cannot be negative right something like that and that should do so this is a pseudo code right we start and then we start by reading the score and second step is evaluate right score and in so we have the logic done now we need to write a code for the logic <coughs> we're going to translate this to code to java using if else first so the input part is done and there's the score now just make sure you just need to declare int score right to take the score now is int is appropriate is whole number which is okay we can use short too short is the whole number too right if the score is between 0 and 100 we can actually use byte too okay because byte is 8 bit 8 bit can take care between 0 and 100 alright so now I'm going to make it simple by using int for now so keyboard dot next int if we read int alright so we can start to evaluate this right by using this logic alright so if I copy and paste of course Java will not like the syntax right because this is your code, it's not Java code. So I'm going to modify this to be Java syntax. I don't have to worry about thinking part anymore because it's already done. We just need to worry about change this into Java. Like in Java print that means system.out.print. And if you want to print a letter, it has to be in the code right and else if in java has to be lowercase and put a uh, expressions boolean expressions in deep parentheses <coughs> okay so now this is going to be all the print b so this piece should be easy after you have your studio code done it's just about changing to Java syntax. And again, if we have only one statement like this to print out, inside the if you don't need the curly braces, you may see I didn't use any curly braces. If you have more one statements, you need the curly braces. Okay, so when you say more than one statement, what do you mean? So this is one statement inside. If I have more than one, for example, <coughs> if I want to say greater than or equal to sixty, I want to say your score is. That's more than one statement. If you leave it like that, it's going to be a problem. Because this is going to do just your score is. You have to put it 
in the curry process. That means more than one statement. Okay. Mm, now A B C D F So let me make sure I do print line. Yes, we go in new line. Okay, print out. So print will not go to a new line. Like this one can be same line, then it's gonna say your score is and the grade D in the same line. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so this is the last statement that taken care of in the case of user enter a negative values. We're gonna do else and that's done. This ain't so of course it's ain't so let's test the program. to score 100A <clears throat> into score 50F right 89B see so now when you test you want to test all the scenarios to make sure that your program works like scenario A, scenario, scenario B and scenario C I need to test scenarios D 60. So I test all the scenarios except else, which is minus one. There you go. So program works as expected for the questions. Now, this is just an example to show using if else if, which is just review. The real question is how do we use switch? How do we use switch yeah. instead of if else? Yeah. So we got to record another video much more than.